Hello guys, it's Washing by Nature and today I have for you a very quick tutorial how to create a YouTube video with Adobe Premiere Pro. For this tutorial I'm going to use a Battlefield 4 footage, I'm going to add some audio commentary, some background music and some uh, video with uh, introduction to the channel. So uh, when you open Adobe Premiere uh, you're going to be welcomed to this uh, screen, so just click a new project. Uh, in this window, just add, uh, just change the name of the project, uh, just whatever you like, just project 11. Um, here is the location where the project is going to be saved. Just choose whatever you like to be saved. Those, uh, those stuff here, and probably you're not going to need to change them because uh, there is a default one for example the first one is the renderer that Adobe Premiere Pro is going to use to render the video uh, in my case it's going to use the GPU as, as a renderer it's going to use the CUDA cores of my NVIDIA video card card uh, if you have another video card probably you're gonna need to change that or Adobe Premiere Pro will change it by, uh, for you just click OK and you're going to be presented with the windows, uh, with the default windows uh, of the of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have uh, my version of Adobe Premiere Pro is uh, 7.0. If you have a different version, you may have a different uh, windows right here. Uh, or if you have uh, this version and have different windows, just go to Windows Workplace and reset current workspace. And again, this is going to uh, going to default to the to those windows the next things that the next thing that you're gonna need is just to create a new sequence just go to file new and sequence and in this window you're gonna be presented with a uh, sequence presets those presets actually in our case are not very relevant because uh, we already have some footage which have uh, let's say have a presets in them for example we are going to use uh, resolution 1080p at 30 frames per second so the best thing to actually do is to uh, choose uh, presets very close to those settings in our case it's 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second so I'm, I'm choosing this one just click OK and right here you're presented with mm, uh, with uh, a new window actually it's the old one but right now it's enabled it's the preview of the of the videos uh, that we're going to create this window is the channels and the time frame those are the video channels right now we have three video channels one two and three and we have four audio channels and master of course you can add more video channels or audio channels if you want to but for now for this tutorial it's there more than enough this window is a media browser in which we're going to add our media like the captured music, the captured gameplay, the music that we're going to use for background and stuff like that. In this we, uh, video, uh, in this sorry, in this window, we're going to use the audio mixer. In this folder, I have three sources. First one is the Battlefield 4 footage that I recorded, and you can see it's just a raw footage with uh, with sound. The second one is just the uh, intro of my channel and the third one is just the WAV file that I'm going to use as a background music to the, to the video. To be able to add those three sources to Adobe Premiere Pro, just select them, drag them to this window and drop them. So the next thing we need to do is to actually add the videos to the time frame and uh, combine the videos together. The inputs together so first we're going to add the the video intro just drag it to to the first uh, video channel and drop it you're going to be presented with this warning because the sequence uh, of the the sequence settings of the video is different for the sequence preset that we already uh, selected but it's not a problem because we are going to use the sequence of the input video so change the sequence to that to that one and that's it as simple as this so on the right side we have the preview of the video that we've already added on the time frame we have the uh, we have the intro that we already had we can actually move it around as you can see I'm moving the time frame 
the preview is changing here we're going to need the audio track mixer so I'll go to window drop down menu and choose audio track mixer this audio track mixer will uh, allow us to actually record the the, um, the commentary the next thing that we're going to need is to add the actual Battlefield 4 footage just drag this video and add it to this time to the second video channel to the second video channel I'm adding it to the second video channel because in this way I'm uh, I can actually change the volume of the different channels separately in our case the intro is in uh, uh, volume channel audio channel 1 and the battlefield 4 is is the second channel as you can see a2 as i know that the volume of the intro is very high so i will lower it to minus 24 decibels i will leave for now the battlefield 4 footage to to zero decibels and if we're going to the start and hit play you can see that the both videos are combined and um, the first the second actually starts right after the first one so right now I'm gonna show you how to cut this video because probably you're not gonna need the whole footage. It's very easy and simple task. Just preview up to uh, uh, where you want to cut the video. For example, right here. Just click C on your keyboard. As you can see, the and the mouse cursor will change. Just click on the video channel where the battlefield 4 footage is and as you can see if i move the the, uh, the slider we have we already cut the video if you do not do anything as you can see it doesn't appear on the video whatsoever but to be able to cut this part just click v to change back the the cursor select the first part and just delete it from your uh, with the delete key from your keyboard to be able to join together both videos just select this video and slide it to the uh, to the intro as simple as this of course this video is very long right now after it's cut it it's around 19 minutes for example if we're going to need it uh, to be like five minutes just go up onto five minutes on the time frame just click right here for example just click again C cut it V select delete and as you can see right now we have a shorter video one thing that uh, you're probably gonna need is to actually cut uh, some parts from the inside of the video for example we are right here and we want to need to cut this part from here up until here for example it's I'm just cutting some some footage randomly just to show you just click again cut just click V to change the cursor select the part that we're going to delete and click Dell on your keyboard to join back the videos just select the second one drag it to the first one and that's it as you can see if I scroll back before the cut play it as you can see we're gonna change immediately to this one of course the change is not a, it's not very uh, actually pleasing uh, so the best thing to do in this case is to add a uh, so-called uh, transition in our case it's very uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, have as default a very simple transition you're going to you know, see it right now just go to the beginning of the second part the cursor will change to this red uh, arrow right click and click apply default transition as you can see there is a small icon right here very simple if you go back just click play and you can see that transition is very very nice now okay so if we're gonna if you're going to need to cut it multiple times just add this transition because it's it's very pleasing to have it not uh, to have uh, uh, no transition at all and of course in the beginning of the video we have the intro and the footage st starts right away 
probably it's a good thing to add another transition right here just add this transition and if you go back play it you can see that the transition is very nice so we've added the video and what we need to add right now is the actual uh, game commentary because this is the, the target of this video of this tutorial so the first thing that we need to do is to add our uh, microphone to Adobe Premiere Pro just go to edit preferences and use audio hardware you can see here we have a button that is ASIO settings it's audio hardware settings right here you can see in the input we have the enable devices that we can uh, record from in my case I've selected I've already selected the microphone my blue snowball microphone just click OK and to add the, the commentary we are going to uh, add it to audio channel number three in the audio track mixer audio channel number three represented this one to be able to record to this uh, channel just uh, hit this click this button enable track for recording as you can see the drop down menu is enabled right now in the drop down menu you can see your microphone selected in our case is the blue microphone snowball so right now we're going to need to place the the time frame cursor exactly where we want to start the commentary of course it's the beginning of the video right here just place it right here just click this button so hit the play button and right now Adobe Premiere Pro is recording to audio channel number three as you can see the volume is going up and down so to stop the, rec uh, the audio commentary recording just click stop and that's it as you can see we have a we have a section in the audio channel 3 which is our record if we go back from the beginning just to hear what we have with this sound I will play it back and you can hear right now okay this was the actual adding a commentary to the video and up until now everything is good of course one good thing is to add uh, ambient background to our video it's as simple as choosing a audio file just adding this to another channel for example in our case in the a4 channel uh, audio channel 4 since uh, since it's a background music we want to actually lower the volume of this channel so the it won't interfere with the uh, audio commentary channel uh, we have the audio channel 4 go to the um, audio track mixer in audio channel 4 i will lower the volume to minus 24 decibels and if you play it back first you're gonna need you're gonna hear you're gonna see here the background music of course of course the the audio commentary will be in the foreground and that's about it actually in our case you can see that mm, the background music is a little bit shorter than the the video itself of course the commentary is not longer enough of course because, because we've just tested it to be able to add uh, we're going to multiply this ambient background music just drag uh, a new background music to this one and to be able to cut it exactly to, uh, to this one it's the same as cutting a video just hit C on a keyboard click it here click V select the, the not needed part delete it and that's it we have right right now we have an uninterrupted background music up until the end of the video of course a good thing is to have a end transition to the video go to uh, go to the to the end of the video click uh, right click on it and apply a transition as you can see when it's when it's going to be over it's going to fade out it's a good thing to have of course a transition to the audio and that's about it this is this is the very quick tutorial of how to create a youtube video and right now the only thing that's left is to actually export the video uh, to do that just go to file export media 
gonna be presented with this window it has, it has a lot of uh, information about it but most important thing that you need to remember just choose format choose age 264 then in presets pull down the drop down the drop down menu and you just scroll with this arrow up until almost at the end of the of the list uh, up until you see YouTube HD right here you see YouTube HD 1080p 30 frames per second just choose this one output name choose a name whatever test 122 hit save and then just click export 